What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma if you're new here and I love to talk about all things Peloton cycling and fitness so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I post every single Sunday. Today I'm going to be doing something kind of weird, trying something new out. I'm going to be doing the tread boot camp classes but I don't have a treadmill, so I'm going to be jump roping instead of doing the tread part. Basically how I came up with this idea is that a company called Renfo reached out to me and they're like, hey, we wanna send you our smart jump rope. And I'm like, okay, awesome. Always looking for new ways to do cardio, but what am I going to do? I feel like just jump roping for like 30 minutes straight can get really boring really fast. So then I Googled like Peloton jump rope, like do they have jump rope classes? And I found a lot of people talking online about alternative exercises you can do during the tread boot camp classes to replace not having a tread and one of them was jump roping a lot of people said they did that so I thought that I would just try it out and see how I like it so I have my handy dandy jump rope right here and it is smart so it has a screen and then it connects to an app that you can either get on your phone or your iPad I use my iPad because I just like everything to be big and once you set it up you just have to like pick up the jump rope and it automatically connects to this app which is really nice so it can just tell you everything that you could possibly want to know about your jump roping experience. So it tells you duration, calories, average jumps per minute, max jumps per minute, tangles, which I think is like every time your jump rope stops because it hits your feet. That happens to me a lot. I'm kind of awkward when I jump rope and max consecutive jumps, I guess, before you get into a tangle. So I will be using this and I'll let you know my stats afterwards. I'm quite interested. I predict a lot of tangles in my future. And then for the Peloton tread bootcamp class I'm doing, I figured I would do the top tread bootcamp class ever because it seemed like a good one. So I sorted by top rated and first off, literally like all of the top rated classes are just Sims. I think there was one by Maddie, but the first like 10 were all just Sims, which is crazy like how much of a following she has for tread bootcamp. But then I clicked on the first one and you needed light, medium, and heavy weights. And I only have three pound weights here. I feel like I talk about it a lot. So I only have light weights. I feel like I could easily modify to use medium weights, like put both in one hand or just do the reps faster. But I don't think that I can modify it for heavy weights. I just feel like you can't do anything with light weights that would kind of be equal to what you were doing with heavy weights. So a lot of these classes needed heavy weights, but I scrolled down until I found one that only needed light and medium. I think a really awesome feature for Peloton would be able to search for classes with the equipment you have. So it's like, oh, if you only have light weights, if you only have medium weights, if you have resistance bands, you could like put it in the app and then they could show you classes that just use that equipment. I feel like that would be very, very useful. So if anybody from Peloton watches this video, please make that a thing, that would be really great. But the class that I finally picked is a 60 minute 2010s boot camp from July 25th, 2020 by Just Sims. And there are just straight bangers during this workout. We got Nice For What by Drake, Don't Let Me Down by The Chainsmokers, What Do You Mean by Justin Bieber, That's What I Like, Bruno Mars. Every song is incredible. I'm very excited for this workout. I think it's gonna be super super lit the class plan just looks like 10 minutes tread or jump rope in my case and then 10 minutes full body and we repeat that circuit three times so i'm very excited to see how my jump roping goes and how the rest of the class goes i feel like i need new ways to do cardio because i ride my bike six times a week and my quads are starting to get very sore from that i feel like it started when i was doing like all the hardest rides in a row because then it was obviously just very hard workouts every day probably not my smartest idea and I've taken days off since then, but I feel like I need to just mix in other cardio. The problem is, is I like to do cardio every day because especially since I'm working from home, sometimes I don't leave my apartment at all. So it's like, I need to do some cardio to just like burn off the energy that my body has. So I feel like jump roping, could be an alternative. I basically don't have any other options. I can run outdoors. For some reason, running outdoors makes me a lot more sore than running on a treadmill, but I don't have a treadmill. I don't know why that's a thing. Now we're getting very off topic, so let's just get into this class. My first impression of that class was the music was so good and just Sims is always good. I've taken a walking class, some strength, bike boot camp, but you can really tell that this is like her element. 
it was really great. And then my second impression is that jumping rope is harder than it looks. I knew it was going to be harder than I thought it would be, but it really is a workout. It elevated my heart rate to like as high as it is when I'm on the bike, which is around 170 when I was like really in the thick of it. And then I basically just modified as I went. So when they were sprinting up hills, I was jump roping quickly. And when they had kind of pull back and recovery, I just went slower. It was like fairly easy to follow along with the class, but be jump roping instead. I also kind of like this more than bike boot camp, just because with bike boot camp, it's kind of clunky to get on the bike, ride a little bit, get off the bike, and then completely context switch to strength classes. And this just felt a lot more natural to kind of just stop jumping rope and then do strength. I do think I'll be sore tomorrow, not so much from jumping rope, but from the amount of squats in this class. Squats always kill me, but it's definitely something that I need to get better at, so I can't really complain. I know that I always just have to do more strength classes, so I would really love to work these kind of into my future's workout schedule and I think that I will keep jump roping. So for every 10 minute jump roping session, I just started a new session on the Renfo app because it's super easy. So my warm up first 10 minute session was 10 minutes and 23 seconds long and I burned 94 calories, which I think is pretty good for 10 minutes of cardio. And I averaged 58 jumps per minute. Max, when I was going my fastest, I did 90 jumps per minute. I got in 27 tangles, which is a little embarrassing. I definitely had an adjustment period of trying to figure out like how long the jump rope should be, but it's super easy to adjust. But it just took me a while to figure that out, so I was definitely getting in many tangles. And my max consecutive jumps between tangles was 74. So the longest I went between tangles was only like a minute, but I got better. You can see like in my next free jump that I had significantly less tangles. I only had 17, which you know is improvement. I'll keep getting better. It's pretty cool to just see all of this information, even though I'm not sure what I would do with it. It's cool to have all this information. I'm a big information person, even if it's not the most useful, it's still interesting to know and I like can't see improvement. Like hopefully as I keep doing this, the tingles will go down and down until there's only like one or two tingles per 10 minutes of jumping rope. I feel like that would be like a good goal to work towards next. That's it for this video. It was kind of a shorty, but I just wanted to jump on here and try out something new. I love doing modifications for tread classes specifically just because I have no access to a treadmill. So I like to be able to take the tread classes instructors and just mix it up because while I will always love cycling, now that I've done like 350 cycling classes, I'm always looking for something new. Leave a comment down below if you modify Peloton classes anyway because I'd love to know and I'd love to try those modifications out or if you have any jump rope tips because apparently I need to get a lot better at jump roping. I hope you guys are staying safe, having an awesome week, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!